So I was doing some other repairs on this truck, and I thought, you know what? Why not go ahead and make a video? So here we have a 93 Chevrolet S10 two-wheel drive automatic 4.3 V6. Uh, it's got a buck 49 on the odometer, and uh, well, we're replacing the coolant temperature sensor. Now this is the sensor for the engine computer uh to calculate how much air and fuel or how cold or how hot the engine is in order for it to run right if this is not doing right then the whole truck may run rich may run too lean may have uh, a choppy idle like you got a cam in it um it could be leaking um and that sensor is located right here on the intake this guy you just unplug it Well, there we go. See the little, pull that tab back this way, and then pull up. And if I look further down in there, you see mud. And this coolant, I've already changed the whole cooling system, and uh, it had mud in it. So uh, this sensor is actually leaking and will eventually corrode this and cause uh, a not a good connection but it looks to be okay I do see a little bit of green starting but uh, however I'm going to get this out and get the new one in so uh, here is the part number by AutoZone it was like 20 to 25 bucks SU109 Duralast I think it's lifetime warranty and uh, tools you're going to need is a 3H ratchet in a 19 millimeter deep weld socket and I put extension on it so I could actually get more leverage just like that take the ratchet now I don't have coolant in this but you probably will when you're gonna take this sensor out there's gonna be coolant in here just letting you know In case you were wondering, the sensor for the gauge, if you see this wiring harness right here, follow that down and see the little blue connector down there, right below the head, or actually goes into the head between the uh, spark plug wires right there. Uh, that is for the gauge inside. That's not the one that you want. But if you're replacing it, that's where it's at. Just letting you know. This one's for the ECM. This is the one you need to replace if you're having issues. come right out like I said there's no cooling in the system so that's why there's no fluid coming out I want to go ahead and uh, clean this surface a little bit a little rag and then we'll go throw the new one back in here's the new one go ahead and start it in by hand and it has this red um, kind of like Teflon tape that seals the sensor to keep it from leaking um, but if you got the cheaper one that uh, is only a lifetime warranty, I mean the only a year warranty, then more than likely it won't have that stuff on it. You'll have to put some Teflon tape on it. If it doesn't have that red stuff on it, <clears throat> put some Teflon tape around it before you put the sensor in, or it might just leak. Alright, so sensor is in. It's tight. Um, you want to snug it down and get it tight. You don't want to overdo it. This is aluminum intake, and uh, you don't want to strip threads out. However, Plug it back in. It should have a click, but mine didn't. But it is plugged in. And uh, that's pretty much it. How you replace your bad coolant temperature sensor on a 93 S10. Now, this goes for all of the 4.3s. And I believe they came out in 87 to 93 for the first gens. And then so on. But... That's pretty much it. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the bottom. I'll try my best to get to them. And uh, give it a big thumbs up if you like this video. If you didn't, well, do it anyways because it helps me out. Helps you out to get more content like this. And also, lastly, consider subscribing. It's not that hard. All you do is click the little button down below. Make sure you have the notification bell on so every time I upload, you get notified. 
Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. Have a great day or night.